Hi guys, Steve here. In this video, I want to show how to play Citadel Forged with Fire. Now, the first thing you need to do is create or join the server. If you want to create one, go to Custom Game and put a password in yourself. Select how many players, Experience Modifier, or go to Advanced Settings, change the different modifiers. And then Create World. But for now, we're going to do Join Game. Right, when choosing a server, the main things I look for first is the region, whether it's Europe or America, Asia, etc. Then the ping, you want the lowest number possible, because if you've got high ping, then you're likely to lag in game. Then I'll go PvP or PvE. Then the numbers on the server. If you go one that's completely full up, uh, you'll find it hard to log in, and you might have a waiting queue. Plus, if there's loads of people on there in your PvP, you might get ganked a lot. So what we're going to do is find a Europe server, PvP and low ping. You can click ping and then refresh, and it should give you the lowest to highest, or if you click it again, the highest to lowest, but it seems a bit jumbled at the moment. Probably just it's come out. Right, I'm going to go with Ember Crescent for this test. 50 players, 19 on at the moment. It's PvP Europe. Next come to the character creation page. You're on your head at the moment. Select if you want male or female. There's only a few head options right now. Let's go with that one. Same with hairstyles. Let's go with that. Change, <laughs> give him a little head like that. Woohoo! Keep that normal. Same with neck. Give a giraffe. That changes his head. And then you can click the body options. Make him really wide. Arm thickness. Arm length. Make him a mutant. I'm going to leave that for now. Then the colours, skin colour, demon D, I'm going to go for orange-ish, hair colour, let's go white, nails, I'm going to leave it on brown, if you go for bright ones it's a bit distracting, then eye colour, let's go for red, call him name, Then create. Yes, I want to create him. Then you're given three spawn options left, middle, and right. This one I'm going to spawn in the center. Yes, I want to spawn. Let's just start an intro. We got forged with fire. I have the power. Not yet I don't, because I'm a noob. Right, this is where you're born. In these fire pits. Got some stones there. First of all though, uh, in the top middle, you have the time of day, then the compass. And your coordinates where you're on the map. You press M to open the map. You have a yellow arrow head. We'll cover the rest of the icons in a moment. Everything else on the map is faded by the fog of war. Right. In the bottom middle you have your level. Which is level 1 at the moment. The red bar underneath it is your health. The blue bar to the right is your mana. What you need to cast spells. You've got your name obviously. And then R and T are your consumable slots where you can put potions to either get your mana back or health. You can also put food there to get like mana or food over time. Your left and mouse button is punch at the moment because we've not got anything equipped. But there will be your spells when you've got a weapon equipped. Uh, G is your weapon. 
And F is your trinkets. If you want to swap your trinkets, you press uh, Y. Right, we're in the cave. Go up to the quest giver. Speak to her with E. And she'll give you a stone-headed axe as a reward. You need to collect two stones and four wood. Plus you'll get 250 XP. Click accept. Okay, I noticed two stones down here. You get XP for everything you pick up. So I've got the stones. You can get these rune crystals as well. We need a lot of those later on. So you got your quest in the top right. You only can have three quests at the same time though. I wish I'd expand that. Because you keep having to go to the quest givers. And there's a log, but you can't harvest it at the moment. We're looking for branches on the floor. But that brings me to these markers. If you go up to it, it's a tutorial marker and it tells you a little bit about the game. This is talking about the inventory. If you press I, it'll bring up your inventory, what you're wearing, your clothes, your stats, and what you have on at the moment. You can click with different category if you've got different weapons, clothing, etc. I'm just going to click on all. We'll go along the top icons in a moment. I'm just looking for wood. Now the wood and stones are brown, so it's a bit hard to see on brown ground. Especially when we have us foliage around. There's someone else to start in. Now we're in the starting area. And it's surrounded by a shield. There's no PvP in here. I'll just show you the world quickly. It's one side of it and it goes all the way around. We start at the almost bottom of the map. Then you've got the entire map above. Back to the icons. These are caves. You usually find a chest in there. The turrets are fast travel points, the towers where you've got to click a flame which I'll do in a moment, if they're purple you can't travel to them, if they're blue you can, the green castles are the starting areas the exclamation mark of the quest givers uh, the campfires are like a camp of bad guys which will be good to give you XP to start with but we're going to need weapons first to kill those the main grass area seems a bit empty at the moment, so I'm just going to go back into where I started. There we go. Wood. There we go. Four wood collected. Now, exclamation mark changes into question mark. And in the quest, you'll get an X as reward and XP. That's leveled me up. I'm going to speak to her again. You get another quest. Basically go around, collect everything, do what she says. Come back here, hand in the quest and you keep getting XP. Right, uh, in the bottom right you see K and C flashing. Press K. Now, because we're starting off we need to pick up lots of stuff so I'm going to do carry capacity. The others for health, mana and damage. That brings us into the knowledge tree. This is where you learn to build everything. Like I can build a stone axe, but if I get to my inventory I've already got one as a reward. Now you can click on it and equip or you can drag it over to your weapons tray. Now you can carry up to four different weapons, each with two spells each. This is what I'm carrying at the moment. That's filter all. You can do filter weapons, clothes, rings, potions, building materials. I'll just keep it on all for now. You can have a hat, boots, trousers, rings, trinkets. You can also put your broom in there. Don't forget to press Y if you want to switch between your ring and your broom. Here you can drag food or potions to each. And we have our weapons. That's health, mana, damage, carry capacity of course, which you can upgrade. You have weight here, uh, you can get overburdened but you can still walk, you just won't be able to pick up anything else. 
Now in the top you have your spell book. Now we're going to go back to knowledge again, which is the brain. You've got three tabs on the left. Uh, these are your weapons. You can build four different types. The melee weapon, axe, swords later on. And then gloves, wands and staffs. Different sets of clothing. Different trinkets, rings, amulets, etc. Some give you critical hit chance. Some give you mana back. I definitely suggest the mana back ones. Then you can click with cog. You can build dis different food recipes, different mana potions and health potions. You will need to learn those. Other different elixirs like uh, growth for plants, which you can do farming later on. Saddles, brooms. Then click the house to for your build menu. Here we go, build wood. Then stone when you reach level 20, white marble when you reach level 40, ornate at 55. It tells you on each level you have to be to unlock it. Torches level 10, flags level 5. Then you have a throne which is extremely important. When you're creating a building or castle, you need to put your throne in it to claim it. If your throne gets destroyed, then somebody else can put their throne on your building anywhere and start destroying it all so you need to keep that safe and repaired and extremely well hidden preferably hidden behind some walls then you've got a campfire where you can craft food to build something that you're holding go to crafting and you've got a list of different things you can craft here other things will take workbenches like you can build cloth but I'll show you that in a minute click on the face here you see everyone on the server if you've got any friends you can click invite if they go to social they'll get the invite then they'll accept it and then you can join them here you can pray to house you have to be level five though now if you go to the horse head that's a number of tames you can have four once you've tamed something which I'll do later you need to feed it food and it will increase the time it remains tamed. If it runs out of food, then it will go wild and start attacking you and your base. So we've covered Tames, Social, Knowledge, where you can learn everything, Crafting, where you can build things you can hold, your Inventory, where you can equip items, and the last one is Spellbook, which I'll go into in a minute. Right. My quest again in the top right, I need to collect berries, orchids and mushrooms. There's some flowers. These two are collected. I'll go up to these markers. Each player has an inventory. We've covered that. We can consume food and potions. Each player has a knowledge. Uh, covered that. The world is littered with dangerous caves, ancient ruins and more. Explore them at your own risk. Yes we shall. Each player has the ability to open an interactive map, which is this thing. Covered that. It reveals itself as you explore the world. And structures can be built in build mode, which we'll go over later. Now, where's the stairway? There it is. Stairs. Looking for a flame pit. Now, these are the fast travel points. You go up to it, click it to unlock it it turns into a flame portal now that was the tower you can unlock the fast travel points at that spawn point and that spawn point plus we have another fast travel point tower there it's purple at the moment you need to go to it click on it and activate it then it will ch change blue then we can fast travel through it remember to do that Right, we need mushrooms, there's some. There we 
go. Again, you get lots of XP by picking up stuff. We need crowberries. We'll have a quick look around the starting area, but we might have to go down and explore out of a safe zone. Now these are the health and mana pits. The purpley red one is health. When you get injured, just stand in it and it will heal your health back up over time. Same with mana. If you use all your mana up, come here and it will refill your mana. Let's go down the hill. There's small rune crystals you can pick up. These are bigger ones. Because we've got no magic spells equipped to the axe, you can hit it and it'll collect rune crystals for you. We don't need those at the moment. Right, we're about to leave the safety of the shield. Again with your axe, you can hit. Collect stones. No punching trees in this game. We can punch them, but it's not very effective. At the very bottom middle, that yellow line, what's growing every time I do something that gives me XP, is your XP bar. Alright, here's some flowers. Oh, there's a pig. Notice the XP bar go up as I collect. Oh, there's Piggy. Die Piggy. Killed him. Got my XP. Level 3. Press E to loot. Loot all. Or you can hold down E to collect. Got food. Hide and bones. Killing stuff is a really good way to level up quickly. I'll do another video on that. Right. I think a crowbar is a red. Let's go and kill another piggy. The blue ones are part of mana potions. These yellow ones are cloth. Copy that one off. Right, let's kill another piggy. Seven. Uh oh, might have been trouble. I'm maybe showing you what happens when you die and respawn. Oh, there's some guy there. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> See, it's PvP server, guys. That's what happens. So that's where you died. He's going to steal my stuff. That pig might kill him. I'm going to slip there. Right, go to my inventory. I've lost everything, but I've leveled up. Let's go more health if I'm going to have to fight. Right. I, when you die, you actually keep all your gear and your weapons. So I've got my axe still. And he's picked a fight with the wrong person. So I'm going to go down back below and start collecting again. You notice in the bottom right that the K is flashing. I can learn some new stuff. I'm going to learn the staff. Click and hold. That was one point, one point, one point in green. You have to be level three. I've got five points left. I'm going to create some clothes, a hat and a robe. Because I'll be fighting. Uh, you can do a wand, gloves and a melee weapon. Each of them do different abilities. Right, I died there. Gone the other side. I'm not ready to fight him yet. 
soon if I see him again. Oh, there's a piggy. What level? One. Let's kill that. Click stone. Okay. Alright, these are player houses. Another level one pig. Like I say, killing stuff levels you up quickest. 54 XP. Now that's giving me a light essence, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to collect stuff for my quest at the moment. Level 4. This is some of the red stuff I need. Red gives you health. Your red bar. Blue gives you mana. There we go. Got everything for the quest. I'm going to make it back up the hill. Just collect everything as I go. Quest, you'll get food as reward. Click on the quest again. Right, you need to get nature's essence. And you'll get a wand as reward, plus dark essence and light essence. Right, people get stuck on this. I'm going to show you where you get it from. Notice in the bottom right again, press OK. I'm going to go on health. I'm going to get a wand for free off that quest. Plus as a melee I've got, I can make the staff. Now O is flashing. I can convert that to cloth. Select how many you want to build. Craft. And it's going to convert yellow leaves. into cloth. I can use cloth to build a road and a hat. Which is north. Remember those green bowls? I'm going to go back down there because that's nature's essence. Because you're a wizard, you float. You can get full damage if you fall too high. With small drops like this. Oh, that was a bit big. Right, these green balls are essence. You can get a different kind. Green ones are nature's essence. You can get fire, light, storm ones and cold. Plus demonic ones. Right, keep hitting it, you'll get XP. There's one, and there's the quest completed in the top right. But what I'm going to do is, uh, you have a stone axe equipped. I'm going to click on the spell book. Now, this is how you do spells. You've got four abilities. And the essence, you naturally get arcane essence and weapon you have selected. Now, what you can do is arcane blast, select if you want it on left or right mouse button, click on it, craft spell, and now you've got arcane blast. And that's how you add spell to a weapon. I want to go back to spells. Again, select the left or ma right mouse button, click craft. This time the spell's changed. It's done it arcane storm. If anything's in that, it gets damaged. And notice the man is going down at the bottom. 
There's a cooldown also on the spells. That red bar that's going down. You can put haste. So you've got each weapon does different things, but you've got arcane blast on that side, and arcane storm, what you've just seen. Then you've got self, cast a spell on yourself. And then you've got utility. So I'm going to click self, put it on the right mouse button, craft. Take it, and now I can run super speed. That's only on this weapon at the moment. If I built a staff, I can put different abilities on that. So what I'm going to do, let's go back to spell. Arcane, that's utility. Craft. And on this one, you can teleport. So you click it, you've got your starting point there time is ticking down and when it ticks down and reaches zero you teleport back to where you started from over here right I have a nature's essence so I'm going to go spell book can't remember what key the spell book is now as I say arcane essence is default so I'm going to grab nature's essence I told you you get different essences this is light essence you can drag that over and it will change all the different spells. They're healing ones. And pacify on utility is to do what with taming. But we're going to go for harvesting. So I'm going to drag a nature's essence over and convert it to spells to nature. And I've got pounds. Geyser. Oop. Attacked by a sprite. Got teleported back. Out of mana. The mana slowly comes back, but what I'm going to do, just for now, is unequip by pressing right mouse button. That gives you a normal. You can just whack it. If you run out of mana, then you can't really attack. So you might want to have one of your weapons, one of your four weapons, without an ability, spell ability on. Then you can just hit them with it, normal. Right, it's going dark. Again, go back to spells. Put the nature's essence on. Now... We want to go to extract, click that, click on it, I want to on let's go for left mouse button. Craft. Now this is a harvesting spell. Now you can aim at it, hold your left mouse button, or your right mouse button if you put it on that. You keep gathering. And instead of whacking it with your axe, you can now just suck the resources out of it. Yeah. I'm doing it with this at the moment. You can do it with trees, rocks, gold, anything you wish. And that's your main gathering spell that you can put on any weapon you want. So I'm just going to collect these at the moment. My XP is going up. I'm about to level up again. Go. Level five. Okay, spells. I'm trying to remember that. Uh, I'm going to give myself extra health again. I may be fighting. Now I can learn rings. Won't need those yet. Recipes. I need a throne for what I'm building. You can build a box. Let's build a floor. You can also use that as a ceiling if you wish. Wall. Door. 
and because I don't think I'm going to get one as a reward, I'm going to learn Glove. Let's farm this. Okay, that'll do for now. Right, I've got seven Nature's Essence. Alright, I can now build stuff. Throne. I can put, if I've got a wood, I can put the floor down. I'll show you building later. I'm going to go back to spells. And the saver's running all the way back. I'm going to click on right mouse button. Click on self. Craft. Now I've got haste. H. To invite friends. O is to craft. I don't have very enough uh, cloth at the moment. I can build a hat. I'm just, I've got enough runes, enough cloth to build a hat, but I need more cloth, so I need to get more plants to make cloth. Now, because I've got my speed run on, I'll go back to the quest giver a lot quicker this time. At level 3, I'll leave it, I've got an extract spell on. Got nothing to attack him. So the cooldown's going to go on the speed run. On your haste. Stand in the mana pool, get mana back. Do the same with uh, as a healing one. Just gonna click it. Cooldown message comes up. Right, hand that in. I'll get dark essence, light essence, and a one. There we go. Let's go to your inventory. Equip the wand. And now, if you scroll the mouse. Can select different weapons now because I've got no spell on this. I'm gonna go for let's go for light essence on the right. I want self that will heal me, and for let's do dark essence projectile. Use slot, and that, with this one, I can shoot like a blob of blood. It's my own blood, but it does lots of damage. If I want to change that, I'll drag in green. What will that give me? There I go, root. So instead of that blob of blood, now I've got roots that shoot into the ground and do quite a lot of damage. I go to the quest giver again. Now get a hat. I've already made one now. Wood. So I need to collect 10 wood, 10 stone, and runes. Now, you can either get runes in here, because there's quite a lot. go, there's 10. Collect more wood. Collect stone while we're in here. Right, that will do. Any more wood? I'm going to switch to my axe. Now, you need an extract spell. Look at the tree. Hold the left mouse button. Easy way to get wood. And you can do that with a stone. There we go. That's that quest done. And that in. 50 XP. Get another quest. Boar. Kill boars. Roast a boar. Okay. 
So I've got bore meat already because I killed a few. Right mouse button, super speed. I just need to find a piggy. Kill that. Switch to my attack spell. There's one. Right, my right mouse button is to heal myself. Left mouse button is to attack. It's level 7. It's above me. Now this spell damages and hits the enemy up in the air. See? Pigs are flying. Price of bacon goes up. There we go. Got a lot of XP for that. Can loot that. Finish that quest. Switch to my axe. Use my haste ability. I've got no mana though. I need to spec into mana more. It gradually ticks up. Like one point at a time. It does take a while. Pit. Any more? Fire pit. I get salt and elk. It's 250. Having fast runs really good. Get you around quicker. Stand in mana again. Get that back. Alright, I need to build a fire pit. So what I'm going to do is go out shield. Right, I need to build a fire pit. So open up my knowledge. Go to the house. Click on fire pit. Learn it. Glad I saved some points. Next is forged. Next is workbench. You've got to learn down the tree. If you're working with other people, uh, you can get your friends to learn one tree. You learn another. And then you can share out your skill points. So I've learnt fire pit. Press B on the menu. So you've got your throne at the top. Then your wood structures. Go to magic. Go down one. So I'm going to need some wood. 25. Let's go down to the bottom. Oh, I hear another piggy. Got some mushrooms. Got some more essence if I wanted it. And I'll just look at a tree. Now depending on how powerful and what level your weapon is, depends on how fast and how much you gather resource wise. So if you're like level 50, you'd be gathering a lot more because you'd have better weapons which are more powerful. Alright, just make sure there's no one around me. Uh, we've got plenty. Go to build. Need five stone. Let's put it here. There we go. Completed that quest. Now here you can cook stuff if you've got the right ingredients. Salt and raw elk. We go up to top again. Completed. Level 6. Press K again. I'm going to go mana this time. Click on you. Salted elk cooked. Right. I'm going to go to that fire I passed on the way. Coming to the end of Fat Quest Givers Tutorials, which teaches you the basics. It's a fire, I can use that. Level 6. Right. What do I need to cook? Salted elk cooked. 
Salted elk. Click three of those. Craft. Now the red markers is of units you're actually making. If you put ten in there, you'd get ten red units around. And the blue line is a progress bar. Porkers want to fight. Fighting while I'm cooking. That spell's quite powerful to start with. Right. Once you've built something in this game, you'll have a bag on the workstation. Got to it and collect it. Switch weapon to run. Go back. Let's go in the mana pool, get my mana back a bit. And my quest in. Get another 250 XP. Right, you'll notice that she's got no more quests. And you're done. Now you're going to have to venture out into the big wide world. And while we're in there, I'll teach you how to build and build, get more spells. Now, I've only got two weapons, so I'm going to build the other two. But I'll do that when I'm down at the bottom and I've left this safe zone. Hang on. There's someone. Right. Weapon. Let's make a glove. Whoop. That's slowly built. And it reaches the top. Oh, he's, his pig died. He's got a saddle. I do a second one crafting. Right, the stuff. So I've got four weapons, like four spells. Let's put my glove on. Oh, it's blue. So it starts off white, then goes blue, green, and then orange for epic. I think it's red after that. But I've not seen any. Scroll the mouse. Right, let's go for. Yeah. Boot, that's on Keep an eye on him. You press some minus on the numpad. To speak to people. Keep an eye on them. Right, let's go. I've got any other essence. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, put the nature on. Click on. Is it self? There you go. And you can give you bark armor. Scroll down. There's that guy who killed me. Want revenge. Right, I'm going to press tab. There's my bark armor. There's my arcane beam. Get the first person mode better. I've put my extract ability and my run ability together because it, everyone can see your big glowy green beam. You can choose whatever spells you want next to each other. So if anyone attacks me, I can run away quick or run away to get equipped. Let's fight these. Fine. 
pigs. Okay, back for first done. There's a guy over. Keep collecting everything. Extract everything. The good thing with extracts in spell is you can extract and walk around and pick up all the flowers and shards at the same time. Like WRXP. Then if you go to craft in, craft something like cloth, extract, and then pick the flowers up. So you need three lots of XP at once. It's a good tip for you. Because it's a different weapon, let's go there. It does different abilities. Storm. Right, there is a camp over here and a cave over there. And kill everything to get XP. Lots of crystals from that. Big spike you on. Over here is a sprite uh, shrine. Uh, there's a few of them. They'll probably kill me. So I'm just going to bypass for now. Yes, you can tame the horses. You can tame everything. Let's keep collecting, get XP. Let's get wood. And I can make myself food. Let's go for inventory. I need to be level 10 to make myself mana and health potions. Hello horsey. So I can get trapped. The AI is pretty good. The animals don't usually trap themselves. And even if you build a trap, they usually escape. Right. Make sure no one's around. Now what you want to do is damage a creature you want to tame. Don't kill it though. Uh, go to your spells. I'm gonna go on my wand. Put light essence. Utility. So remember, always use light essence if you want to tame. Put on utility, select what spell button you want. And you get a pacify. Sure, if no is around. You'll shoot a beam out with Pacify, and you'll notice a blue circle around the horse. That's a taming amount, and when the circle is all the way around, then you can claim the horse. Like that, it goes t creature tamed, click on it, name it what you want. Can't put ass in it. Ah, I took too long and it ran off. And I kind of killed it. <laughs> I usually have my pacify on my left mouse button. Hold it up. That bear would be more useful for me. 
game take its health down. Uh oh. Follow me down there, but he'll come around and get me. Here he comes. Oh, he's got second thoughts. Right, I'm going to get my food, drag it to my bar, press R, my mana and stamina will go up. Let's tame that, get more food. Another bear to protect me. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Get more food. I've oh, got it. There we go. There's Poover Bear. Oh, it's only base over. I need to run into it. Right, it's almost dead. Have I got a light? Yes I have. Uh, let's put it... Drag that in. I need to do AOE. So light essence, AOE. Put on the heel. And it puts a green dot around you. And it heals everything in there except you. So if you're with a friend, you can do that. Just healed up. It'll protect me. It's better than a horse. That'll do. Right, now I'm going to click the horse head. And that tells you everything about a bear. Name, level, experience. Now, the way the taming works is you only can have a pet for a certain amount of time. That's how long I've got, and that's ticking down. What you need to do is go to it and put a saddle on it. Give it food. I'm going to give it everything. You can just deposit everything in there and it'll eat all the food and retrieve it. Now when I go to the pet, it's time has gone up, so it will last the night so I can log off. Just make sure there's no one else around. Also here, you can set the pet to uh, stay and follow, so I'm going to follow. Defensive, aggressive, or passive. Let's save it on defensive, if anyone attacks me, then you've got its health and the pet's mana. Like I say, you can have up to four pets. So if I get a better one, I can get rid of that, set it loose. Press tab, get up to it. Interact it here. You can put a saddle on it if you want. If you dismiss pet, it will go wild and it will attack you. And again, the options of passive, defensive, aggressive. Or you can have it on follow you, passive, defensive, aggressive. And then look in its inventory. And when I build a saddle, I can put it on there, but I don't have one at the moment. So it's on follow defensive, so it'll help me fight. It's going dark. And let's farm the trees. Let's go do my in case I get attacked. Go around and gather everything again. If you go too far out of the beam range, it'll stop harvesting. There we go, level up again. 
Come on, Pooh. Stuck on it. Now, if you put... If an animal's on stay and it's miles away back at home... Oh, let's uh, put points into this. Let's go mana. Go to your pet team menu. So it'd be on stay. Imagine it's back miles back at home. Let's go over here. You won't do it in a short distance, but if you then go to follow passive, turn it on and off. Just keep flicking it. Uh, the animal will teleport to you. Put it on passive, then do the flicker. Oh, we've come up against a orc camp. Shield up. There's a few of them. Bear should help me out. Do myself a bit. Definitely have. Do myself. Run out of mana though. There's my bear. Go on, go on aggressive. Not taking much armor because of my arc. Oh man. What's that bear waiting for? I said, go and whip it up on. One killed. Get off. Go on, Pooh. Duff him up. Pooh might die. <laughs> I can heal Pooh up. Go on, Pooh. Save Pooh. Got no energy. No mana. No help. The yellow points crit, reds no damage. Yay, killed them all. Whew, that was a bit close. Who managed to kill them? I go around looting. Right. Okay again. Let's add more mana. Got eleven points. Rooftop. Don't need those. Don't need to trim at the moment. Right, I have a throne. I can build wood structures. Campfire. Let's go for forge. Uh, let's go for the cauldron, put potions at that, and storage box. Oh, and a respawn point. There you go, that's quite good. Workbench. There we go. Right, press B. Let's start with the foundations. Let's build it so we've got a bit, bit of a view. on it tells you how much wood you need now the only thing I don't like is that you can't rotate the buildings well if you can I've not found a way so it's all set out or all be facing at the same angle let's put one on there now if you build one higher up 
It'll automatically build the floor and the stilts underneath the foundations. Oh, I'm being attacked by a bear. My bear should whoop him. Whoop, put armor on. Hey, flying bear. Into a bear rug. He couldn't bear it much longer. Right, it's daytime. Let's get back on with building. So let's do the floor. Let's do four for now. Right, go back out of floor. We can put the walls on, but what I'm going to do at the moment is do stairs. Now, as you see, you've got one stairs and posts, roof, doorway. But if you click on doorway, it's loads of different doorways. S same with roofs, same with stairs. Like, you could have a different stairway if you wanted. One going off to the side, one going off to the other side. What I'm going to do is at the side. Now let's go to the walls. Go diagonal or straight. One, two, three, four. One there. I won't put one there at the moment. Right, let's do the roof. You can have slanted. Need more wood. Go to build again. One there. Keep me out of rain. Now to do a doorway. You can't just put a doorway in there. You need to do a wall, then put a doorway in. But if I do that, I won't be able to get in here. So let's see what else I can build. I need to have two bars of iron to do a doorway. But to do that, I've got to farm iron. Now you'll get a little bit from farming stone. But the best way is to find iron next to rivers or ponds. Like I'm in the middle of the country at the moment, it's not the best place. All I need is four bits of iron. I'll keep harvesting the stones so I can make the forge. What's the stone? Did I get any? No, I didn't get any iron, I just got all stone off that one. Looks like I'm going to have to go to the river. So yeah, don't block off that with a wall yet. What I'm going to do is go to magic. Put the forge... Right, where can I extend the base to? I can stand it outside. There we go. Put the forge down. Now, when I get iron, I can make iron ingots. Plus, I can also make flawless gems, enchanted stones, and everything here. You'll also be able to make rings. Alright, let's see what else I can build. Now, this house at the moment is no one's because there's no throne on it. Abandoned, you see? You need to place a throne to claim it. So I'm going to put my throne in the corner. Can they see outside? No, it doesn't poke through. That's okay. Now I don't have to interact with that apart from repairing it now and then. So if somebody comes in when I've enclosed this and destroys my throne, they can just put their throne down and claim this entire building, castle, no matter how big it is, by just putting their throne down, then you'll have to fight your way into your castle. 
so you need to defend your throne really well or hide it like I do right we need a respawn stone precious gems they're red and you can find them in caves or on hills you need iron to make a box Rune crystals can make the workbench. Cauldron, need iron, fireplace. Right, I'm going to have to go to a river. Which one's quickest? I'm right in the middle of both of them. I'm going to try and get some iron. Show you when I'm there. If there is any iron there, what it looks like, and I'll make my way back. This looks like it might be it. The harvest. It's ticking away. Give him some. There we go. Iron. Because I've only got a low level weapon. It's not harvesting much. That looks like stone to be honest. It's different colour. You see, the pure stone is pure brown. This one's slightly grey. Then you can get ones more grey than this. It looks a lot more like iron. Unless it's just a light. I think it's just a light to be honest. Add in a hint of red to it. Now I'll put my throne down. That's what it looks like. Quite a far way to go, isn't it? Left mouse on the map, put your marker down so you can know where it is. Let's head back in that direction. Let's go through how to avoid the camps. Right. Let's build some iron ingots. So it's building 19 ticks around the outside and the blue bar is how fast it's building it. I'm going to go out and farm some blue green crystals. And coming up to five o'clock. So I'm getting XP as they're building as well. I'm getting XP from farming this plus I can go to crafting. Craft those. Three lots of XP at once. An angry bear. Shield up. To be honest. Oh, a bear killed it. That was if I put it on passive. Alright, let's give him all my food. Take it back. Can also put health potions on there. What the sprite now? Dust from that, we can use to put, build a broom. 
so I've got another light essence. Leveled up again, let's have more mana. Now that's going to take ages to build and it's going to keep tick, tick, ticking along. So cancel that, because it's going to get irritating. It's getting dark. Go to the bag. Remember, every workstation produces a bag. Claim that. I have now iron. Right, let's see what I can build. I'm going to leave my bear there. It's probably best to put it inside. Or players or creatures are going to kill it. So what I'm going to do is build a wood wall, like so, and go to doorway. Let's select your door. Oh, great, I need more wood. All right, now go to the door. Doorway, windows, big door, but I need too high and too wide. For now, we just need a door. There's no code lock on it. If only people in your house can open and close a door. Go back to there, create a house. There we go. logos. Let's go for that one. Orange is a bit light. That's a bit better. House of Niblets. Oh yeah. And then you can invite people to your house. There are people near you. There are people on the server you can invite for a group. When you invite somebody to a group then you can see them on, on the map. Little bunny running around. We've uh, door closed for now. Right. First thing to do is block off the throne so no one can see it or find it. There's holes in the wood so they can see it through there, but if you're building stone, they won't be able to. Alright, this is just going to be really quick. So you can build a cauldron to build. In fact, I may as well do it. Now, as you've seen, I've blocked the throne off, but I need a space at the moment. Otherwise, I'm going to have to extend the building, which I don't want to particularly do now. So, throne on the first one. Spawn point, you put down. When you die, you can then spawn at your house instead of back at the three normal spawn points. I don't have any precious stone at the moment. Uh, I'm going to save my ingots and not build a box. Let's build a cauldron. I'm just going to put it anywhere I can really. And a workbench. Let's try and get a workbench st stuck in. Let's have it there. Can I put a cauldron anywhere? There, it's not the best place, but. There we go. It's dark, so I'm going to wait until daytime so you can actually see. Right, I've been collecting and that's level 10. Let's go back to the house and see what we can build. Let's put our points into health. Now we've reached level 10. Can't go to stone until level 20. That's all the same. I've got more points. I can build a tailorer to build better clothes if I wanted. But the main thing I'm after is a health and mana potions. I can also build a saddle and a broom to fly around on. 
but I don't have the precious stones to build that and I don't have enough leather to build a saddle. Plus, you can now build better weapons. I'm just going for glove and a staff. Oh, no I can't. I need two points of a hat. Right, let's start off with a cauldron. Start off from the bottom, work my way up. It's the potions I'm after. One health. It takes a hell of a lot of crowberries to build one health potion. And even in later game, it's a ridiculous amount you need. Let's build ten mana potions. So all you do is just drag those to your hotbar. And then we'll replace that one with mana. Right. I can make flawless gems, enchanted, which I don't need at the moment. Can make anything else? Nope. But I should be able to here. I can make mulch for growing stuff and seeds. Now, I need a workbench to build the next weapon, but I need precious stone. Now, those stones are reddish in colour. They're hard to find when you're starting off. Just can't build anything at the moment. But like I said, you can find them in caves and the top of mountains. I'm going to put my hat on. And go to crafting. Go down. So I've got the food. The weapons. The level 2 stuff. You need the workbench. Uh, or the tailoring. As it says there. Let's build my robe. No pants at the moment. Or boots. At one point, I'm going to put it into a mana ring, so I'll get one mana a second. And that's built at the forge. Ah, oh, typical. <laughs> I need two iron ingots. Oh, well, typical. I need one more iron ingot. I've got the fairy dust. Right, because it's easier. I wanted to show you what precious stone looked like. I logged onto my main account with my little dragon. You get much bigger ones than that. This is precious stone. You also get iron from it and gold. It's got a ruddy glow with veins on. So all you do is farm that, take it back to your base, and build a respawn point on your base. But you get the idea how to play the game. There's my mana potions. Oh, I made an epic robe straight away. That's a hell of an improvement. Alright, look at my stats. I'm going to put one into health. So your normal robe, 7 armor, level 1. This robe... 23 armor plus 21 mana percentage magic find that helps you craft better items I do believe so you can get epic hat legs and boots plus a rabbit's foot later on movement speed crit and health that's awesome straight away right I think that's covered everything Okay then guys, hope this beginner's guide was helpful, if it was, please click like and subscribe, and I'll be uploading a lot more videos, and you'll be seeing a live stream of us playing the game for real, not just a tutorial, plus we'll be showing you how to tame a dragon. <laughs>